Welcome back to another edition of Vikings Film Room, brought to you by the Vikings Entertainment Network. I'm your host, Pete Bursich. Well, the Minnesota Vikings get to fly across the big pond and take on these New Orleans Saints. Now, the New Orleans Saints have a stout defense, don't get me wrong, but offensively, it appeared they turned the corner. Let's take a look at the film and see what our defense is going to be up against in jolly old London. Now, whenever you talk about the New Orleans Saints offense, you got to start with this guy, Alvin Kamara. Now, Alvin Kamara ruined our Christmas a couple years ago, if you remember, with six touchdowns. The Saints still love to use him. And just like against Detroit, you're going to see how they block up front. And they have a very, very good offensive line combined with the extra tight ends. Again, like just like we saw last week. Watch these double teams here and these double teams here and the movement they get on these defensive linemen. But also keep an eye on this guy, this linebacker. He needs to see that guard pull, and it doesn't work out so well, as you can see. He blitzes up in that A-gap, but look at these double teams right here. They have these defensive linemen moved all the way over here. That makes for an easy kick out, a pulling guard, and that's all this Camara guy needs. He gets through, and now it's a foot race between he and the safety just out of bounds, but an explosive runner. Now, another thing, if you're looking at the box score, you see that Jameis Winston had a big day. Well, let's check in on Jameis and see how he's doing. One thing for sure is if we just sit back and play zone coverage, he's good enough to pick you apart. And I think this is a great example. Down here on the bottom of the screen, you're gonna see this wide receiver just motion himself and get right to the hole in the zone. There are five Carolina defenders all around him but this is a receiver, Traquan Smith, and just saying, hey, I got a feel for this. We're playing zone. I'm going to settle in the area that they're not. Jameis Winston protected very well, able to find him, and this becomes a big play for the New Orleans Saints offense. So you've got to play some tight coverage on these receivers. All right, another example of what Jameis Winston is very good at. This is a situation where the offense coordinator, they cut the field in half, and you're going to get three receivers on one side of the field. And what's gonna end up happening is they're gonna create three different levels. And when you do that, you make the job for the quarterback a lot easier as all he has to do is see this guy. If this guy's playing the shallow route, he's gonna go deep. If he's on the deep route, he's gonna go shallow. See the eyes of the defender? Looking at the short route. As soon as he breaks up to cover the short route, the ball is delivered over the shoulder. Great throw, right on the money. Big play for the Saints offense. We've seen what Jameis Winston can do, and trust me, he's good. But let's take a look at some of the areas where he struggles, and he struggles with the blitz. And these are some perfect examples of just how that's happening. You look at Adam Troutman, the tight end. He starts out out wide, comes down. They know that they're getting blitz. All these guys are coming right up the middle. Carolina putting the pressure on him, but look at this. Wide open, he's fixated out here on Kamara and the wide receiver, throws into really triple coverage. When you blitz him, he dials in on his receivers. He doesn't look to find his outlets. What do I love about watching film? It's the little things. And this is just a, one of the best plays right here. Watch these two defenders. Okay, Carolina is gonna blitz, but they're gonna disguise a little bit. And when you watch right here at the beginning of the play, this guy gives this guy the nod. They give each other a little handshake saying, all right, I'm disguising over here. I got you, I'm over here. But right before the snap, if you look at what Jameis Winston has to see, he's looking at the defenders and he's watching the number count and he's seeing one two three over here on three receivers he's like no one's coming from this direction we're not getting any part of a blitz because this safety is way over here for now but just prior to the snap this safety works his way over they have the number count this guy decides to blitz and it takes the offensive line by surprise they turn loose one of the defensive linemen but watch the linebacker he's dropping in coverage sees he out undercuts it Again, Winston throws the ball no matter what, and that should have been an interception. Now, when you have division teams that play each other, you always have to watch the film a little more closely because they know their opponents, right? Look at where Carolina is and look what they have going on. They're on their own 30, and they've got a zero blitz look, right? There are no free safety. There's three guys deep. You got eight guys in the box. They're letting this quarterback know we're blitzing. They get some guys, they get some pressure, but down here, this is the outlet. This is the guy that's free. But Winston decides he's gonna do what? Throw a 50-50 ball down here to Chris Olave, who by the way, had an unbelievable day. The ball should be going here. He throws the 50-50 ball. That's the kind of confidence that he has in this rookie from Ohio State. 
And you see the jump ball, but Alave's got plenty of skill, plenty of speed, drifts out wide, comes up with a big catch. That was one of two huge receptions for Alave that day. And really, that's a ball that should have been delivered to the flat. Now you flip the script. They're right in the red zone on the 20-yard line. This ends up being a huge play in this game. Carolina, again, what are they showing? They're showing zero blitz. This guy already knows before he gets the snap, I got to get rid of this thing quickly. They are able to get the Winston. He's looking at this tight end down the middle of the field and see how wide open the middle of the field is, but he has a free rusher right here. He has to make this decision to put this ball where he knows the receiver is going to go or else he's going to have to do this, take a sack. Now this moves the ball back. New Orleans ended up missing this field goal attempt, so they go from the 20 yard line to a missed field goal attempt. That was huge in this game. Now, another box score note is this. Carolina's up by two scores at this point in the game. New Orleans getting the ball at the 10 yard line. We're gonna show three plays in a row. Three plays in a row to show you just what happens when a defense takes a breath. You can never take your foot off the gas pedal. And this is a perfect example of it. You've got a corner playing way off, deep safeties. But this corner, instead of continuing to go back, decides I'm just gonna backpedal a little bit, leaves the receiver wide open. That's a huge, that's a 35 yard completion right there at the beginning. Next play, this is the very next play. Jameis Winston, receivers down the field, double covered, and he still throws the ball. He doesn't care, he's gonna heave it up there. Bam, that's another 45 yards to the good on a jump ball. Now, finally, the third play, Winston rolls out. Watch the clomp of receivers and defenders he's gonna throw this football into. One-handed grab touchdown three plays in a row 90 yards and a touchdown that's what makes the box score look good so overall this new orleans saints team they have an outstanding defense so our offense is going to be locked up with them all day long defensively however there's going to be some opportunity if we can get pressure on winston we can make him throw it and throw it where he shouldn't that's where a linebacker and or a safety needs to be johnny on a spot to get that interception getting to be plus two that would be nice for us in jolly old London.